Today in our 2018 Hyundai Santa Fe, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Kurt Class 3 Custom Fit Trailer Hitch Receiver. The hitch on our Santa Fe is going to be completely hidden behind this appearance panel here. We can remove it and our receiver tube will be ready for us right there. It's really nice that the hitch is going to be hidden behind there because it's not going to be distracting, taking away from the looks of our Santa Fe or have anything hanging down below the bumper. Our hitch is a class 3 which means it's going to give us that 2 inch by 2 inch receiver tube opening and have a lot of different options for any kind of accessory that we want to mount up. The way we're going to mount any of our accessories is the hitch pin hole here on the side and it is going to accept a standard 5 8 pin and clip. These are not included in the kit but you can pick them up here at eTrailer.com along with some locking devices to keep your accessories secure. Our safety chain connection points can be a plate style welded to the bottom of the receiver tube. And as you can see, we're not going to have too much trouble getting most size hooks on or off. As far as weight capacity goes, our hitch is going to have a 900 pound tongue weight, which is going to be the maximum downward force of the receiver tube, along with a 6,000 pound gross trailer weight rating. That's the amount it can pull, including the trailer and everything we have loaded on it. Our hitch is rated for use with weight distribution systems, which is going to be a separate component mounted on your trailer. The tongue weight is going to stay the same, but it is going to bump the gross trailer weight rating up to 8,000 pounds. With all those numbers in mind, you always want to double check your owner's manual and never exceed the manufacturer's recommended towing weight. I like to give you a few measurements and that's going to help you whenever you're looking for accessories for your new hitch. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper, it's right about four and a half inches. That measurement is going to come in handy when you're looking at folding accessories to make sure you have enough room and clearance so that it's not going to come in contact with the rear bumper. From the ground to the inside top edge of the receiver tube opening, it's going to be right about 16 inches. That measurement is going to come in handy when you're looking for a ball mount. That way you can find the appropriate rise or drop to match up to your trailer. Now that we've seen what our hitch looks like and gone over some of the features, let's show you how to get it installed. To begin our installation, I want to mention that I went ahead and lowered my spare tire down. That way I have a little bit more room to work with underneath. But if we come to the very back bottom of our Santa Fe, we're going to have this removable panel here. There's going to be two push pins, one on each side that we're going to have to remove. So we can grab a flathead screwdriver or a trim panel tool and we'll come underneath the center section of the push pin and then the outer section and we'll pull them out. Then we'll have these two push tabs, we'll just push in and remove that panel for now. Now if we come underneath, right where our frame rail is, we'll notice we're going to have two holes on the inside, they go all the way through, and then we're going to have two more on the bottom of our frame. Those four points are going to be our mounting locations on each side. Now you'll notice that we're going to have this rod that's going right in front of the hole. So we're either needing to cut this or bend it out of the way, and this is really just an alignment pin for the bumper beam itself. So I'm just going to take a pry bar, come behind it, kind of bend it away and down so that we have room to get a bolt to go through there. You want to make sure you do that on both sides. For the holes in the bottom, those are going to be threaded. There's going to be weld nuts inside the frame. So I'm going to take a little bit of spray lubricant, spray it inside, and then come back with a nylon brush, make sure there's no dirt, debris, or rust inside. You want to do this for both holes on each side of the frame. Then we'll want to grab one of our M10 bolts and make sure that we can easily thread it in by hand and that it's not going to cross thread. And when we do raise our hitch up, the hardware combination going to the bottom of the frame is going to be our M10 bolt followed by a conical tooth washer. We're going to make sure those teeth are facing up towards the hitch. We'll go through the hitch and into the weld nut. Now with an extra set of hands, we're going to lift our hitch up. We're going to line it up and we'll take one of our bolts and washers and we're going to loosely get it installed. That way the hitch will support itself and we can get the rest of the hardware in place. With our hitch supported and the hardware in the bottom, you'll notice that the holes in the side plates here are going to line up with the ones in the frame. We're going to take our long carriage bolts, we'll slide them through the frame. It may take a little bit of pressure to get them to go all the way through, but once we have them going all the way through, we'll come to the outside of the frame. 
we'll secure them with our flange nuts on the outside. You want to do that for both sides of the frame. I'm going to come back with a 17 millimeter socket and tighten up our M10 bolts in the bottom of the frame. For the flange nuts on the outside of the frame, you can use a 3 quarter inch socket or a 19 millimeter socket and snug those up. I'm going to come back with a torque wrench and torque all my hardware down to the specified amount in the instructions. And to tighten the M10 bolts, we'll use that same 17 millimeter socket. Just make sure to double check the torque specs because it is going to be different between the different size bolts. With everything torqued down, we can grab our appearance panel, we can click it back into place. It'll hide the hitch until we're ready to use it. Now all we have left to do is put our spare tire back. That'll finish up your look at the current Class 3 Custom Fit Trailer Hitch Receiver on our 2018 Hyundai Santa Fe.